It all started with me being a kid in the mid to late 2000s. Christmas time was around the corner and I really wanted to get a new PlayStation. At that time I've seen many of my friends playing Need for Speed, FIFA 2007, then there was a good game and other OG PlayStation 2 games. And as Christmas came by I finally got my PlayStation 2 and I would invite my friends to play some FIFA and do competitions all day long. As I got older and the evolution of video games continued to grow I owned several PlayStations, Nintendos and also a PC, but the older I got, the less control my parents had over my video game consumption. I would spend hours and hours sitting in my chair playing video games. Eventually it got so bad that I used to play video games at night as well, even during week time where I had to go to school like everyone else. Many people will claim that playing video games actually is fun and time spent having fun is not time wasted. In all honesty, for me personally I think that playing video games was more of a distraction from my real life than to have fun. Of course there were many funny times when I used to play with my friends online, but the older everyone got and the more life separated our paths, the more time I would usually spend playing alone. And was that really fun? My mom actually would tell me to be quiet because I smashed controllers, I hit my PlayStation and I would scream at my enemies every curse word that I could possibly think of. Looking back, I am really ashamed that I behaved like that. 22 years old and I still used to scream like a little kid when it didn't get that chocolate milk. Like, Bro, come on. Maybe you can relate to parts of my story. If you're 25 years or younger, it is actually very likely that you play video games. Maybe you play video games once a week or you spend multiple hours a day. In fact, 78% of people under the age of 18 are playing video games on a regular basis. But why am I telling you all of this? After I discovered and got into the self-improvement content on YouTube, I finally began to ask myself why I just don't quit playing video games. But the more time passed, I very much realized how hard it is to actually quit video games for good. You feel the pleasure and excitement going through your veins when you press that power button. You ask yourself this question of why you should even consider quitting playing video games. All the experiences, the nostalgia, all the good moments would just diminish if I quit playing. And after all, all my friends are also playing video games, so why should I quit? If playing video games feels so good and so many people do it, then how in the world is it actually bad for you? Out of my experience, the most important reason to actually quit video games is because you are wasting time in a virtual, non-existent world. Instead of leveling up your real self in the real world, you are rather leveling up your character in a video game. You don't socially interact with people in real life, rather you just talk to one of your friends on TeamSpeak or play alone instead of figuring out the best tactics to win a game on Warzone. You could in fact reinvest that time and learn a real skill in the real world that will help you to make more money and to achieve freedom. But looking at life in the long term is what is actually so hard to do. That's why we drink alcohol, that's why we smoke, we do drugs and we play video games. These are all instant gratification activities that will not benefit us long term. And of course there's the dopamine addiction part. Playing video games is directly linked with an instant release of dopamine in our brain. This instant release of dopamine induces feelings of pleasure and addiction and it's keeping players hooked to the game. What is also very interesting is that playing video games and especially leveling up in video games constantly feeds your brain with feelings of success. In the book Psycho-Cybernetics, Maxwell Maltz describes our brain as a goal-striving mechanism, eager to reach a goal that we set ourselves. Maybe these goals are reaching Prestige Master in Call of Duty, but regardless of the goal we set ourselves, our goal-striving mechanism will lead us there by trial and error. So every time you are leveling up, you get a new kill or you earn more XP, your brain gets hit by feelings of success by getting closer to that initial goal that you set yourself. And everything else just doesn't matter. You might have experienced this feeling after you turned off your PlayStation. There's not much else for you to do because you already did your daily tasks to get closer to that virtual non-existent goal. But trying to quit video games is like trying to recover from any other addiction. And it's likely that the best method for you to recover from that addiction might differ from mine and might also be different from anyone other watching this video. Last summer I was constantly thinking about quitting video games but I just couldn't get myself to the point of actually quitting. I still used to play multiple hours a day and the anger about the video game itself and also the anger about myself not being mentally strong enough to quit led me to explode. I remember that I used to lose a game 
and then I smashed my PlayStation until it literally broke apart. Afterwards, I had really no other option to quit video games because I hadn't any device to play on. And let me tell you this, after days and weeks of not playing video games, I was literally overwhelmed with the amount of free time that I had to spend. That led me to realize of how much time I actually wasted all these years of my life. So although cold turkey worked perfectly fine for me, it might not work for you. And that's completely okay. I'm not really advocating to smash your PlayStation like me. <laughs> It is also possible to achieve great results with a good time management. You can set rules to yourself and reduce the amount of time that you spend playing video games. For example, if you play video games for 4 hours a day, try to reduce it to 3 or even 2 hours a day and create an exact schedule where you can steadily reduce the amount of time that you spend playing video games. Use the amount of extra time that you have to find your purpose. Your purpose is the most important thing that matters to you on a fundamental basis like your life wish or dream that you want to achieve in your life. That could be health, that could be money, that could be helping people. So just turn off the console, sit down and actually think about what you really want to achieve in your life real life, not virtual life. If you begin to practice this habit, you will eventually start to feel that burning desire inside of you, the urge to achieve your main goal in life. And at one point you will also realize that playing video games is actually a waste of time and a distraction from your main life purpose, because it's not actually leading you to achieve your main life purpose. It's kind of like the readjustment of your goal driving mechanism, because you're setting up your brain and your mechanism for the most important thing in your life. And this is what matters at the end. I hope you liked this video and could learn something out of it. Share your stories in the comments down below and I would really appreciate some feedback. Thank you for watching and see you soon hopefully.